In October of 2017, astronomers witnessed something truly unprecedented, an object of interstellar origin passing through our solar system. This remarkable visitor, later named Amuamua, derived from a Hawaiian word meaning messenger, or scout, sparked an immediate and ongoing scientific fascination. Its arrival was not just unexpected. It was unlike anything scientists had ever observed before. The object did not behave like a comet, lacked the predictable motion of an asteroid, and exhibited characteristics that confounded astronomers around the world dot as the first known interstellar object to enter our solar system. Aumuamua, immediately, stood out due to its hyperbolic trajectory suggesting it was not bound by the sun's gravity and would eventually leave the solar system forever. But what truly captured scientific attention was its unusual shape and behavior. Based on measurements, Amuamua appeared elongated possibly cigar, or pancake-shaped with an axis ratio, unlike any known asteroid or comet, most curiously. It showed no visible signs of outgassing, the process by which comets emit gases as they are heated by the sun. Nor did it have a tail, which is typical of icy bodies entering the inner solar system. Despite this, it exhibited a mysterious acceleration that could not be accounted for by gravity alone, raising profound questions about its nature. The absence of clear explanations gave rise to a wide range of scientific hypotheses. Some researchers propose that Aumomua could be composed of hydrogen ice, so fragile and volatile that it would sublimate invisibly without leaving a trace. Others speculated that it could be a fragment from a disrupted planetary body, or even the remnant of a larger cosmic structure, such as a nitrogen iceberg from the surface of an exoplanet. A more provocative theory suggested the possibility that Aumuamua was not natural at all, that it might be artificial in origin. Perhaps, an object intentionally sent through space by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. These ideas remain speculative, however, as there were no direct images or detailed spectroscopic data available at the time of its brief passage through our solar system. Dot, then came a turning point in our capacity to understand the universe. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in December 2021, built to explore the cosmos in unprecedented detail. The telescope's ability to detect infrared wavelengths allowed scientists to study the temperature, composition, and reflectivity of distant objects with far greater precision than previous instruments. When the telescope was eventually directed toward the now distant Amuamo, which by then had moved beyond the orbit of the outer planets, it provided something no other observatory had, the first real image of this elusive interstellar traveler. Observations revealed that Amuo was indeed elongated and asymmetrical, with surface features such as grooves, pitting, and impact marks evidence of an object that had been shaped by billions of years wandering through the harsh environment of interstellar space. Its surface bore the hallmarks of a long and complex journey through regions of the galaxy far removed from our own. Most intriguingly, spectral analysis revealed that Amuamua's exterior was composed of complex organic compounds and rare elements not typically found in our solar system. These organic materials hinted at chemical processes occurring in environments very different from those on Earth or within our local cosmic neighborhood. Perhaps the most puzzling element of the new data involved Amua's motion. The object's acceleration as it departed, the solar system could still not be explained by conventional physics. The James Webb data ruled out the possibility of gas emissions or icy jets as a cause, further deepening the mystery. A leading hypothesis that emerged from this analysis involves the possibility of a non-conventional propulsion mechanism a light sail, a theoretical technology that harnesses the pressure of photons, particles of light, to generate motion. While there is no direct evidence that Amuamua is a constructed object, its acceleration characteristics are consistent with this hypothetical propulsion method. Further study of the object's reflected light helped scientists determine more about its surface composition. 
the telescope identified a combination of metallic and mineral elements that do not match any known materials found in our solar system. Alongside these were traces of complex organic molecules, potentially formed in the dense molecular clouds, where stars are born. These materials offer clues to the object's origin, possibly pointing to a young, energetic star system where the conditions for forming such compounds would exist. Among the more surprising discoveries was the presence of an extremely reflective material on the surface, which may help explain Aumuamua's unusual brightness and varying light curve. This variability initially led to confusion about the object's shape, but now offers more context to the way sunlight interacts with its surface. Such reflectivity, combined with the presence of exotic elements, paints a picture of an object born in a region of the galaxy where matter is organized and behaves differently from what we observe locally. Another theory gaining traction is that Amuamua may be a fragment of a planet that was destroyed by powerful gravitational forces, perhaps the tidal effects from a close encounter with a giant star or a black hole. Such forces could stretch, break apart, and reshape planetary material into long irregular shards. If this is the case, then Amu Amu is more than just a traveler, it is a relic of a cataclysmic event, carrying with it the geological and chemical memory of a lost world. The presence of organic compounds has also given rise to an especially thought-provoking possibility that Amu Amu could serve as a natural vessel for distributing the building blocks of life. This concept, called interstellar panspermia, posits that life or at least the organic molecules necessary for it, might travel between star systems via asteroids, comets, or fragments like Amuamua. If such objects are common, they could play a significant role in seeding planets with the ingredients needed for biological evolution. In this way, Amuamua might not only offer clues about its own origins, but also about how life could be transferred across vast cosmic distances these insights elevate Oumuamua from an astronomical curiosity to a potentially transformative discovery. It serves as a kind of time capsule, a cosmic relic, shaped by processes and events that occurred far beyond the limits of human observation. Studying it allows astronomers to investigate how stellar systems evolve, how catastrophic events shape planetary material and how interstellar objects interact with their environments over immense spans of times of time dot as our understanding of Oumuamua deepens. It also inspires the scientific community to prepare for future encounters with similar visitors. The prospect of sending missions to intercept interstellar objects is now being seriously considered. Such missions could provide direct, up-close observations of materials and structures formed in distant parts of the galaxy. One example is the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, which envisions ultralight probes traveling at significant fractions of the speed of light. These missions might one day follow in the path of Amuamua-like objects and examine them in unprecedented detail. Amua has also challenged our philosophical views, urging us to reconsider humanity's place in the universe. Its mere presence reminds us that we are part of a much larger, dynamic, and mysterious cosmic system. If by some chance, Amuamua of artificial origin, then it could mark the first indirect contact with intelligent life beyond Earth and idea. That, while speculative, underscores the profound implications of interstellar discoveries.